Raw Status TV. RawStatus.com. The Raw Status TV on Instagram. Make sure you find us on YouTube, Raw Status TV. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe and let's get right into it. Of course, we bring you the Raw Sports Report every time. Now, as you know, on this channel, we focus on racism, white supremacy, and anti-Africanism hidden within the world of sports. Now, you have a lot of athletes, including a lot of African Americans that are not athletes, that say things like, people of color, the minority coalition, the black-brown coalition. You hear black men say things like, my Asian brothers and sisters. But notice that they never, ever mention us. The racism going on against Africans in China right now is beyond disgusting. The racism being committed against Africans on the continent of, of Africa by Chinese immigrants is beyond ignorant. Now right now, NBA All-Star and Champion Jeremy Lin was asked about the statements that he's made on Twitter about racism against Chinese Americans since the corona outbreak. I just want to listen to this real quick, and we're going to talk about it after. This is Donald Trump when he called COVID-19 the Chinese virus. What made you want to speak out? Uh, my biggest thing was more just, uh, you know, recently we've seen a huge spike in, in uh, hate crimes towards Asian Americans. And, and so it was just scary for me and the people that I love and stuff. But, you know, they were scared, to, legitimately scared to go to the grocery store and go to the grocery store alone and things like that. So... The more we can bring people together during a very spicy time, um, like that, that, that was kind of the intention and the motivation. It's definitely needed. I know you're going to keep speaking out. Yep. That's about enough of that, guys. So, he was asked about what he meant about his tweets, and you heard what he said. About the Chinese Americans that he knows that are scared to go to the grocery store alone. About the Chinese Americans that he knows that are being victimized by racism. But nowhere did Jeremy Lin mention the racism against Africans in China. People being kicked out of their houses. People being kicked out of their hotels. People being arrested and having the police called on them. After posting a video about racism in China, a woman was visited by the police. You know, we've heard numerous stories and seen numerous videos, you guys, about Racism towards Africans in China. So, we should expect these people, the straight hairs, the non-blacks, the Asians, the European, the Arab, the Latino, the East Indian, whoever else I miss that hates, that hates black African people. We should expect them to never say a damn word about us. Which brings me to my further point. Companies like ESPN and Fox Sports are the leaders in sports, along with ABC and NBC. And they seem to have a very white supremacist point of view, agenda. In particular, ESPN and Fox. Now, these are people that employ very racist people. We can run down the list of either outright <coughs> excuse me outright white supremacists on their payroll suspected white supremacists you know in back in the day ESPN had Rush Limbaugh employed who was an outright white supremacist you had a white supremacist suspect like Colin Cowherd who used to work for ESPN and now on Fox oh yeah what about shrimp baseless who's leading this crusade which in my opinion is a white supremacist crusade against LeBron James now notice that these people are not speaking out about what's going on with black people in, in China. Now we lend our support to these people year after year, decade after decade, and they do nothing to support black people. They do nothing to discuss black issues. But what they do do is if you had a DUI or your mother had a drug problem, well, they'll be sure to talk about that. Because after all, they know us black people, we're going to tune in anyway. Now, this is what Raw Status Sports is all about. 
this is what Raw Status Sports is all about. We are about discussing the truth in sports. And we are not as afraid to discuss the white supremacy that lies in sports. Now, you'll find many reactions like Jeremy Lin throughout the Chinese community. In China, the government is outright denying the attacks against the Africans there. And here, Chinese celebrities that have made their living off of black culture, such as Jay Lin, such as, such as China Mac, don't even bring it up. Because see, they're on code. They're not going to attack their people. Yet, if you get 10 black athletes in the same room, I will probably say nine, maybe eight of them will say minorities, black, brown, people of color. They might say, you know, the racism against minorities in China. The racism against black people in China, black and brown. This is why we should not trust the Chinese or the European or ESPN or Fox or any of the other weapons of white supremacy that are used to oppress us. Now, a lot of people get sports twisted because black men dominate sports. So they think that there's no such thing as racism. They think it's made the best man win. No. Since the white people know that they cannot win at sports physically or mentally, they attempt to control it economically. Until now, the black fan has had no voice. The black man that supports these white supremacist outlets has had no voice. Well, we do now, and that's why we make these videos, because you all support us. RawStatus.com, the Raw Status TV YouTube. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, leave your comments in the box.